What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I build popular movie slash TV show vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what movie slash TV show car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. Now again guys, as much as the community loves the Fast and Furious cars, I will be making a separate series for those builds. So again, this movie slash TV show series is for the other popular movie vehicles. I'm not sure when I'm going to start the Fast and Furious series. Definitely let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see that soon. I might probably start it somewhere, maybe mid-February or March, somewhere around there. But uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. Because currently, as I'm sure most of you have noticed, I've been doing two TV show slash movie uh, builds a week. So maybe what I could do is do one and then the other one being Fast and Furious um, every week. So... Again, let me know your feedback in the comments. But anyways, in today's video, we're going to be building the 2006 Subaru WRX STI from the movie Baby Driver. An absolutely fantastic movie with arguably one of the greatest opening scenes with that WRX. That was just incredible. The music, the timing, the stunts. I mean, it was all just so well done. But anyways, the vehicle we're going to be using for this build is the Karen Sultan, the regular one. And the reason we're not using the Sultan Classic is because that one is mainly based on the Impreza GC8 from the 90s, which of course is way too retro for the look of the 2006 Impreza. And the reason we're not using the Sultan RS or even the Sultan RS Classic is because those two are the two-door variants. Obviously, the one from the movie was a four-door. So again, personally, at least to me, the closest car we currently have in game to the Hawkeye Impreza is going to be the regular Sultan. I think the headlights and taillights are just a bit more closely shaped compared to that of the Sultan Classic. But something I do want to mention is that the regular Sultan is mainly based on the first-gen Lexus IS. However, it does have a little Subaru in there, and again, at least to me, it's still the closest we have in game. So this car can be found on the Benny's website for $12,000, or of course you can get it off the street for free. Now, I do wanna give a massive shout out to Ronnie Matthew on Instagram. He actually worked on the set as a picture car mechanic, and he actually ended up buying one of the five Subarus that were used in the movie, which he still owns to this day. I reached out to him on social media and we actually talked a little bit about the car and of course the red color which I couldn't figure out for the life of me. I was looking all over <laughs> online and I couldn't find what red they used for that car but he actually did tell me what it is and I couldn't figure it out if it wasn't for him and I'll tell you guys what color red they use <laughs> later in the video when we get to the respray part but you're not going to believe <laughs> the color they used for the Subarus in that movie but really great guy very humble definitely give him a follow on instagram which i'll leave linked down below in the description and also a very good video where he gives a lot of insight about how that sequence of the movie was made but anyways let's go ahead and start the builds for the baby driver subaru wrx all right here we go baby driver subaru is gonna be a fun one for sure <laughs> All right, let's do it here. So firstly, as I mentioned earlier, obviously we're not going to do the Sultan RS upgrade because that is for the two-door Benny's variant. I want to keep it the four-door. Um, armor we're going to do. Uh, brakes, engine, we're all going to max that out like we always do here. Um, now, bumpers. So firstly here, um, to me, the closest is going to be the stock. And the reason for that um, is because of mainly the shape of the bumper. I feel like this one with the larger front splitter um and it's just too aggressive in the front the way it cuts there and obviously it removes the grill has the tow hook exposed intercooler there it just looks a bit um strange so uh, i think definitely the closest is going to be this one and the reason we're not doing this one either the custom front splitter is because the uh, stock one to me is just the closest so we're going to do that uh, rear bumpers uh, the real car did not have a giant diffuser back here um, so the closest is going to be the stock um, engine we're gonna max that out exhaust so this is a stock exhaust and then here you have the titanium tuner now the real car did have um, an exhaust actually pretty similar to this except that it didn't have the titanium tip but the rest of it looks very close so we're gonna do that 
um, hood. So th this one is a bit of no annoying. Uh, obviously, Rockstar always makes things a bit um, difficult for us to replicate, and uh, this is certainly one of those. So we got double vented hood, carbon stock, carbon vented, and then the carbon scooped hood. So look at that. We do have the scooped hood, very similar to the real car. However, uh, you can only get it in carbon. Really, Rockstar? <laughs> really, man? Uh, it's just annoying. So, and, and to me, the carbon just ruins the whole like flow of the car. I just don't like the way that looks. Um, so you're kind of forced to, to go with either the double vented hood or the stock. And to me, the double vented just looks strange. It kind of takes away from the look of the car. Um, so stock hood it is. It is, does have a bit of a hood bulge there, so at least it has something, but it is really annoying. We can't put this in the primary color, but stock it is for this one. Lights are gonna keep that stock. Um, plate for this one, I'm gonna go with the blue on white. There it is. Now the real plate was a 7DF632, so that was already lettering there. I mean, it was a Georgia plate, um, however, uh, we don't really have sort of that orange, yellowish sort of plate look in this game, so Make the closest we're gonna be able to get is gonna be blue on white one, so that's why we did that there. Um, and obviously I can't do the custom text as of yet because Rockstar still hasn't put up their website for as the you know as the replacement for the iFruit app that they shut down. But anyways, now let's get on to the color. Um, so as I talked about earlier, big shout out to Ronnie Matthews for giving me this information. He again does own one of the five um, Subaru WRXs he used in the movie, and he told me because I, I literally couldn't find it anywhere online. Um, that the red color that was used on the real color is not a Subaru color. So I was like, wow, that's strange. But usually in movies, they will repaint cars in random colors. Um, but the color they chose is actually very interesting. And they chose Chevrolet Victory Red, <laughs> which is the color they used in like the uh, late 2000s on the Silverados, um, the Corvettes. Uh, the Camaros, uh, so very interesting choice of red there, but that red uh, doesn't have a pearl to it. I know that color very well because I own the Corvette in that color, and it's basically, I mean, at least to me, it, it actually looks pretty similar to just classic Torino red, um, and if I wanted to be a bit nitpicky, I would probably say it's somewhere between regular red and Torino red, somewhere in, be in between these two, but honestly, I think the Torino Red is, is close enough. So classic Torino Red, and then we'll do the same thing for the secondary. Torino Red, boom. Um, continuing to roll cage. So real car obviously did not have a roll cage or red seats. The seats were black, so closest is going to be stock. Roof. You have Sunstrip. Car did not have that, so we're going to skip that. Um, side skirts. So if, if you want to put them, to me it's just too low, it kind of doesn't flow with the rest of the car. The real car had primary colored side skirts, but we can't do that, so sort of is what it is. Um, stick with stock there. Spoiler upgrade. So you have all the different spoilers here. Personally, to me, um, obviously you can go between this one or this one, but I think this one is definitely the closest, the low level spoiler. Kind of has the mounting points in a similar place. Um, and the general shape of the spoiler is somewhat similar, definitely the closest out of um, all of them here, so we'll do that. Um, suspension. So because of a lot of the stunts the car had to do in the movie, the ride height was pretty high. Um, it wasn't low at all. So to me, I think the stock suspension is going to be the closest, so we're going to keep that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. So for this one, you're gonna go here to the sport category, and we're gonna scroll down to um, S racers. And to me, these are definitely the closest um, compared to the one from the movie. I think these are extremely, extremely close. So we'll do that. And of course, when you paint them black, very, very similar. They look fantastic. Now there are all there are alternatives you can choose. Um, I've seen some people go to the track category and use the. Let me see here. Where are they? I think they're the. Uh, were they in track? I think they might have. They're the. Yeah, I've seen some people use these, the Dinka SPLs, but to me they just look. They don't look right. The spokes are just. I don't know. They just don't look right to me at all. Um, and some other people use some of the other sport wheels, but to me again, the closest is going to be these, and the spokes kind of go all the way to the edge of the rim there too. It, it's very similar. So we'll do that. 
Uh, Windows, the car did not have any tints in the movie, so we'll keep that stock. And that's all the options there. All right, let's take out our baby driver Subaru for a drive. Look at that. Looks great. Again, I, I, I man, the, the really the finishing point for this car would have been the hood scoop and primary color. That would have been just the perfect touch, but unfortunately we don't have that. Just is what it is. Um, all right, it's floored here. Of course, you got the fantastic all-wheel drive. And this car, I mean, GTA, it, it's so quick. Of course, it is in the sports category. When Rockstar throws a car in a sports category, generally, you know, it's pretty quick, especially for an OG car. This thing is a little beast. I love, love, love how fast this car is. And it's kind of unexpected, too. Like, you look at it, and you don't expect this thing to be as fast as it is, but... It, it is very, very quick. Always loved this car. It's OG car back in 2013. And you actually used to have to find this. I remember everybody were crazy looking for this car. Um, but, again, now you can buy it on the Benny's website ever since they put the custom variant up. But, yeah, this, this thing is sick. Super fun to drive, and you can kind of drift around with it, too. Um, and it does have a decent amount of power to pull out of the corners. Obviously... In GTA, you can't turn off traction control or ABS, so it does cut power when you're taking certain corners. I had to hit a post there, but uh, but it's it's not not too terrible compared to other cars where it just dies and it kind of sits there doing nothing. It's just pretty decent. But yeah, love this car. Tons and tons of fun. All right, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff here. First person, okay, vehicle doors, let's go all here, boom, engine model, you know, it actually looks pretty decent, not as bad as like other OG engine models, this thing actually looks pretty decent, got the chrome there, cold air intake box, um, watch this, just a intake box, but not, not really a cold air intake, but yeah, that, that looks that looks great, honestly. That's not bad considering, you know, this is an OG car. That's that's pretty decent compared to other cars in the game. Got the strut brace there. Interior. And and this car, which is pretty cool, it actually transfers this the uh, primary color to the stitching in the car, which is pretty nice. But yeah, I mean overall it's not too bad. Again, OG car, you know, 2013. And it's pretty decent. It's not bad. I think it's a fantastic little car. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, you can get it off the street for free. I mean, what more do you want? And it's super quick. I mean, it, it is really, truly a fantastic car. It just needs that hood scoop and primary color, which Rockstar only allows you to do on the Benny's variant of this. They're so clever. But it's a two-door again. Kind of ruins the whole look of the car. So this is what it is. And again, it's also in classic. It's just too old, in my opinion. But um, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. And definitely let me know down below uh, in the comments what movie slash TV show build you want to see me do next. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.